Okay, Gamer 128, I'm going to try to fit this whole 5x5 five five tutorial in one video. Okay, two things. One, no notes need to be taken. A uh, simple pattern, that's it. Okay, if you want to write it down, go ahead. Two, if you don't know how to solve a before, hooray, you got it. Let's go. Whee! Okay, green center. Instead of getting this four squares, got to make a line. Okay, you got to make all three lines. Very simple, right? Okay. Oh, great, never mind. Maybe it's not so simple. Okay, yeah, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Yeah. You like that? And where'd it go? Oh, that sucks. Okay, then. Got it. Okay. There you go. You got your, and then you gotta make the, alright, we are done with the green center. Next is the blue center. Do it a lot like you do with the 4x4, four four, except you have to make a line again. Okay, make a line. But usually, whenever you have to do the algorithm, 2R star, 2 up, R prime star, look at that. Okay. Instead, you just gotta use some logic. You still do the first movement, but you gotta figure out exactly what you gotta move and then move it back down. Okay? That's basically all you're doing. So, you do that, do that, and move it to where you need it to, and move it right back down. You use logic and figure out One last thing, when figuring out the last centers, you have to have it like this. One blue line like this, two blue lines lining up, and a blue line in the center. This, up twice and that back down. Now we're working on these centers. Do the same thing as on the sides, like what you do. The red's going to go exactly like you did with the green, except you cannot move it down the middle like this. You can only move the covers and you can move all these down sides all you want. See, now we're just going to make a second line like this, like this. Make a second line. Bam. Got the second line. Move it up like that. And you got the two lines. Then you make the third line just like you did with the Alright, next we're going to work on the white. We already have the red done. We're going to work on the white. Oh look, first white line's already done. Now, we make, again, we gotta make another white line, but whenever you're moving this line, you gotta make sure that you fix the red back where it was. So you gotta use simple logic, move the white line where you want it, use it only with the up layer, and then move the red right back where it was. So you got that. Now, same thing here. You do this, move it up, move these where you want to be, where and the red it lines up again. Okay? Got that good. You do the same exact thing with the third line. Finally, the last two sentences. This is pure logic right here. Without pure logic, you cannot figure this out. Okay? So you just got to keep moving this. We're just going to try this, for example. We're going to move that back down. Okay? We don't know where we are yet. All right? But you got to make sure that these two are right back where they are. Okay. Once you are done with pure logic land, where you get all six percent of solved, hooray, you're more than halfway done with the thing. Now you solve the sides exactly like you do with a 4x4. Four four. You see, we're going to have a uh, blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, like that. You see blue and yellow, blue and yellow. You can line up, up whether the center is there or not, but it's still going to be solving itself. So you move that up, you move it exactly like you did 4x4, four four, and then you solve the center right back where it was. And you see, you have this finished. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Now, uh, you basically do that. You can do it however you want. For example, we have green and red. Where's, the other green? Where's another green and red? This should be really easy now. Okay, green and red, green and red. Okay, trying to get space on my um, computer. Now, red and green, red and green, you can just move it like that to where only two of them line up. Move this up, move this down, unsolved side, bam, right back where it was. There are two situations that you need to know after you're done with most. Alright, you'll get a situation like this, where you do have all three of them like that, except they're switched around. You can solve this instantly. If you remember this 4x4x4 four by four by four algorithm, you know exactly how to do this. Okay, here we go. 2R star, remember that? Two back. Two up. L prime star. Or L star. Two up. See? You see where I'm going though? You do that. It's the same exact thing as the 4x4, four four, the long algorithm. Same exact thing. As in same exact Okay? As in if you don't know what the same exact thing is, you better look back on my tutorial and, or look at the notes you've written. See? There you go. Okay? Also, you can have this at the front. Last time I told you to have those at the back, and on the 4x4, four four. this time you can have them on the front. Okay, let me go ahead and solve the rest of the edges until we get to our only one form of 3x3. Three three. Alright, 5x5x5 five 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 parity, the only form of parity. Where you need this white and blue, this is a sample, remember. White and blue goes into this, and this white and red needs to go into this. It's not always going to be the same color, but you will a lot likely have the same situation. More likely than 4x4x4 four by four by four parity. Now, really easy. It's not even an algorithm. It's a, just a constant pattern, okay? All it is, it's D star, 2 back. I don't even think you need to write it down, okay? <sighs> Sorry. D star, 
two back. And you have to do it a total of five times. That's the second time. B star, two back. B star, two back. Keep doing it. Or you can, but you have to make sure you get that final back end. Okay? You can keep doing it until you can see all the centers are resolved again. But here we go. Okay? Now from here, you have to use simple common logic. Okay? So you do this, this up, bring that, bring that back. Bam. And we're done. Side of this side by side. Now, you solve it exactly like you do a regular 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. That's it. You're done. See, look. You can get that. Line these two up. Do the same thing. Ugh. This isn't going so well. You get it. Alright? Sorry I had to cut my time short. This is Game 128 signing off. Whee!